Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and today we're taking a first look at the Real Steel Bruns. Now, this is a brand new model, and Real Steel did send it to me. So, let's check it out. This is just a first impressions. This is not a full review. Now, normally I'm not a huge fan of holes. However, I like unique stuff, and this is definitely unique. There was a lot of work put into this handle, and you can see they cut out, and also brings down the weight. This is very light. But they took the holes, after cutting them out, they chamfered the edges, and then polished them, and then anodized them. So when you look at it, depending on the light, or the angle of the light it, it's hitting, depends on the color you actually get. It's almost iridescent, I guess. Very cool looking. And there's a lot of little details on this. So we're going to go over the details, and then I will go into the action. You can see on this side, they did the same thing. And they also added different shapes. The clip as well. Very cool looking. Now look at the lock bar um, relief. You can see the cuts go on to this part of the frame. Very cool. You don't see that too often. Now they are using flathead hardware. So that's going to be very easy for people. You know, most people have small flatheads laying around. And like I said, this is very, very light. Now, we have a straight back blade with a clip. So he's calling it a modified straight back. I, I would call it a, a clip point because it does have a clip at the tip, which is going to help you get utility cuts for a straight back. A straight back is a very strong uh, blade shape. It's supposed to be like more of a harder use uh, blade shape to the drop point. So, it is 130,000 thick blade stock, but it does get down to a nice thin edge. And the designer is Yvonne um, Briganitz. Real Steel has worked with him a lot. Now, this is VG10 steel. So, I'm guessing they use the VG10, which is more of a, a budget to mid-grade steel, to help bring down the price maybe a little bit. Now, let's get into this action. We have really nice jimping, really fine jimping. They did go all the way up to the top of the flipper tab, so that's really good. They didn't go around the flipper tab, which I do um, I do like, but they at least went all the way up to the top. Detent, really nice for a front flipper. I do have a hint of lock stick, but it is fresh out of the pot package, so that'll go away. Yeah, the, the, the detent is nice. Very easy to front flip. The jimping is not aggressive, but it's just grippy enough to grip you back. And you can see they added jimping up here as well for, you know, the pinch grip. You got a little bit of traction right there before you get to the edge. And looking at the details, check this out. They put on the lock bar relief for you to have access to the lock bar. They also polished that area and anodized it. They put some jimping on the lock bar to give you a little bit of traction. So you have good access and traction to the lock bar, which is really nice. Very smooth on the drop. There are a lot of little details on this knife. And just uh, the more I look at it, the more little things are popping out. You can see they put the steel lock bar insert in right here with the screw. And you can see through the hole on this side, you can actually see where it comes through to the inside of the steel lock bar insert. And you can see they got an over travel stop so you don't unspring the lock. Ceramic caged bearings with a ceramic detent ball. Very smooth on the drop. Very straightforward knife. And you know, it is kind of artsy, unique, you know, it pops. So, you know, I think that's cool. Now it can stand straight up um, on its uh, head. There is something in the description where it says something about it looking kind of like a skyscraper, I guess. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, it's pretty cool. I think it's, uh, like I said, I'm not a huge fan of knife, knives with holes, but, you know, I do like cool. I do like things that pop. I like things that, uh, that are unique, and this is definitely unique. It is a neutral ergoed um, handle 
so you can hold it in any position and it should fit you know everybody's hand now it is a full-size knife but because all this weight relieving it is a light full-size knife now the vg10 vg10 you know i like vg10 it's a good steel good stainless steel takes a really good edge takes a very very keen edge um you can usually sharpen it to any grit you know it does uh depend on the heat treat but usually you can now it holds a pretty good edge not the longest lasting edge but it's very easy to maintain so it, when it starts getting dull it's going to be a, a, a steel that's easy to strap back and hone back and also sharpen it's a it's a you know kind of um a budget to, to lower mid-grade steel, so it's pretty easy to sharpen, you know, as long as you got the right stones. The titanium mill pocket clip, we'll see how that works, you know, when we do the full review. We do have a lanyard hole integrated into the backspacer, which is nice. I'd rather it be there than anywhere else, so that's cool. Um... Mine did come with a titanium bead, and I do like their packaging. They do really nice packaging. They wrap it up into in this cloth. Now, I'm not sure if all of them will come with the titanium bead, but mine did. Uh, but mine did have special bonus wrapped around it, so we'll see. Or you guys will have to find out about that. I'm not positive if they all come in there or if it was just mine because mine was sent to me from the factory now let's talk about some details really quick so the price is a little hefty especially if you look at it on real steel's website however i think it might be a little bit more affordable once it hits knife dealers um i haven't found them on any knife dealer sites yet but i imagine they will be there very soon you can get them from real steel's website and you can get 10% off if you sign, or 10, sorry, $10 off if you sign up for their email list, which they they promise not to send you any spam or anything like that. They'll only only send you knife stuff. Um, I know I don't know, but that's what they say. The the price for knife dealers, I don't know what it will be. I have no idea, but I imagine it will be more affordable because most companies, the price that they sell their knives for are usually a little bit more than what you find from, and sometimes a lot more than what you'll find at knife dealers. So we'll see what it winds up being when it hits the knife dealers um, sites, but um, <clears throat> it does come in different versions. So there's going to be different options available. And the designer... Um, Ivan Braganitz, you know, he's done a lot of stuff with Real Steel. So, you know, he's a pretty good designer. I've liked some of his designs. I have a couple of them um, even right now. And, you know, he, some of his designs, they're, they're simplistic, you know, like this one, right? It is a simple design. Aside from all the work that was put into the handle, it's a very simple, sleek design. And he has other designs that are just super simple, super sleek, and very, very useful. Another one of Yvonne's designs, the Real Steel Huggin. I do really like this one, and um, this one might be one you guys might be interested in. It is another one in VG10 steel, but this one has an access lock. I do really like it because it's super comfortable in the hand. The clip works great in and out of the pocket. And I love this blade shape. It's like one of my favorite blade shapes. So super, super useful. And yeah, full-size knife, but great knife. Strong locking system. And yeah, great action. If Now in this case, you're still going to get all the simplicity out of the knife while it being kind of artsy in a way. But yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think about it? What do you guys think about the handle and how it looks? I think it's definitely unique. It definitely catches my eye. It's eye popping. Now, I noticed that they even added more weight relieving, you know, even though they already have all these cutouts. If you look on the inside of the frame in here, you can see they still milled more pockets. Like they have a milled pocket here on the inside of the lock bar. They have another one right here on this side <laughs> so this thing is super lightweight about as light as you can get a full-size titanium frame lock knife 
But yeah, very cool. Like I said, this is just a first impression, so we will see how the testing goes and the carry and all the good stuff as we use it, test it, carry it. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.